All right, it's the inevitable Oscar edition. Yes. Uh, we're going to talk a bit about different categories and what was nominated and what we th what won and what we mm. thought should, should have won. Yeah. I think we'll kick off with, uh, with effects. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that a lot of the movies were, you know, there wasn't a clear front runner. Mm. Uh, the... The nominees were a solo a Star Wars story, Ready Player One, which I haven't seen. You haven't seen it? Okay. No. Okay. Um, Christopher Robin, which I haven't seen. Uh, Avengers Infinity War, and then First Man. Mm. And the First Man won, and I think... I, li I like that choice because, um, having seen it, it does a really good job at convincing at least me that all that is happening and all, everything that I'm seeing is actually real. Yeah. That it's actually going on. Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, for me, I thought that Avengers Infinity War was superb in creating these different kinds of that's worlds. But, but you realize all the time that mm. you're in a green screen environment. Yeah. There's, n there's, just, there's no escaping that sort of... Well, ov obviously, because it's, it's a cartoony kind mm. of thing on purpose, but still... There is that, if you compare like Avengers Infinity War and The Dark Knight, yeah. you can see that mm. these are I on a completely different level yeah. of realism. Yeah. Um, Solo, a Star Wars story, for me was kind of, you know, w well made in mm. itself, but no. there's nothing that spectacular no. No. there. Uh, and with Christopher Robin and Ready Player One, I've seen pr both trailers and I sort of get an idea of what they were. I know that Christopher Robin was probably really, really difficult to make, yeah. but um, not really. A so what do you think about the footage that you've seen about the Ready Player One in the trailers? Um, oh, well, I'm sort of bummed out that I didn't see the movie because there's, a, there's not that much of that popular culture reference stuff in the trailer. I just felt that it was an overload yeah, of everything and 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 I don't think the visual effects should be given out just for having like stuff happening, mm, a lot of yeah, stuff yeah, happening. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, it, in, in a way, it's easy to say that it's easy to make. It's not easy mm. and it's not cheap to make, but you basically can do anything yeah. you want. So, um, so you have to have a sort of vision. And that's why First Man was a good choice because, because there was a clear sense of doing things sort of authentically yeah. and trying to mask the fact that yeah. we're, we're doing this mm. CGI. Yeah, I think that is, uh, that is the sort of like the benchmark for a really good CGI or visual, visual effects is that um, you don't notice them. You yeah, just yeah, and it's a, very, it's a sort of a very tactile thing. Yeah. You, you feel that they're actually in mm. the... In the in the space shuttle and yeah. you can sort of feel that you can reach out, reach out into the screen and feel the mm. metal and feel yeah. the stuff like that. Mm. And uh, with a lot of stuff, like with Avengers, it's less so. It's yeah. like there is stuff there, but you know that it's, there's nothing really there. No, that's true. 